uh, means you know whenever whenever uh, the pl- plastering is going on they always uh, very playful these villagers throw mud on each other now imagine cement as a plaster you know this entire culture is just stock because you are just changed one material and these are the kind of a beautiful stories which we have to cherish with this particular tradition we have to carry upon and this is how this particular structure looks uh, obviously we wanted to build with the uh, mangalore tile but again uh, there is one organization who donated solar panels to this particular structure so they came up with the specification of the teen roof and that's why that's the only purpose we put the teen roof otherwise uh, the entire structure is made with the locally available material and uh, right now the construction rate in dhanu uh, dhanu taluka that time i think it was 1500 rupees per square feet this particular structure we made in 270 rupees per square feet that is the difference it is like almost uh, i think how much 10 times less cost and uh, this is the kind of a work which is happening over there the forest food processing uh, they are making all these patra vadi for lunch and everything and also uh, 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 it got uh, one one of the comic artist uh, who actually made a comic on this particular story and uh, uh, another thing which i want to uh, tell you ki you guys might have think ki okay we are doing all these social projects so how we are getting our money as an architect but uh, you need to understand these villagers are they are rich with the money but they are rich with the resources means uh, when we were like uh, went to this particular project not a single project over here we made with uh, like you know uh, not a single project we did for free okay uh, so uh we uh, like we had a deal ki okay only 50% of our fees you pay by cash but whatever the 50% remaining whatever the f- uh, food you are producing out of this uh, processing center you just give us give us that and that is the kind of a deal which we did and you know the villagers were so happy they actually paid more fees that way because they were so resource rich that they are still whenever i visit this village they come up with something and they give it to me as a gift and that is the kind of a beautiful thing which is happening right now means i am like uh, they are like uh, i am getting my fees for lifetime right now and uh, this is how like uh, when we started interacting with the community uh, this is the another thing which we did like we made a into a model of our village uh, because we, you know when we were like uh, roaming around our village uh, we are asking lot of questions to the villagers villagers never used to understand what exactly we are asking those questions for and this is where what we did we uh, we uh, we as an architect we know what is our strength so we made entire village ka model and we went with that model into the square of the village and suddenly all the people gathered uh, what exactly we are doing to see that and then we started having interaction ki okay this is your house and this is your your house and they started you know relating to that particular model and that is where the village we uh, villagers were like okay uh, the all the young people from the villages they were like okay we wanted to do something for the village but we don't have a clue and we were like okay let's have some idea about it and when uh, and that time that evening all the villagers came to my villa, my house and we started having discussion and we came up with the idea ki, okay we will make a self help group which is a bachat gat okay and we made a first uh, purush bachat gat means you you must have heard about the mahila bachat gat but our village has purush bachat gat and it is called saksham bachat gat and through that saksham bachat gat we started having lot of programs in the village where uh, you know this is another participatory planning method where we are making a map of the village on the ground with using the rangoli and uh, uh, naturally uh, like you know the sticks and everything uh, this is the mapping exercise where you understand your resources your village better you, you know and all the people can actually relate to it because uh, this is the language they can understand very easily we also called lot of uh, natural farmer uh, uh, this is uh, krushi ratna uh rajendra bhat sir who is talking about the natural farming now uh just hold on i need to drink some water ha so uh, in my village uh, there is again a problem which is happening right now ki uh, uh we don't have a native seed okay we are completely dependent on the companies for the seeds and whenever uh, this uh, the farming comes into the picture and whenever we are doing any kind of a farming in our village 
people buying those seed from the company they are buying fertilizer from the company it means my village money is going out and we were also working on the economics of the alternative economics of the village uh, in our area where you know the tribal they are always work with the gift economy system i will explain what is gift economy system at the end of the lecture just remind me about it and i will explain you what exactly happens in that so then we decided ki okay how we can get back our native seeds uh, back and uh, that time we came in contact with the uh, bayaf organization in jawhar and uh, over there the sanjay patil sir who is uh, conserving almost more than 400 native rice by himself he offered few uh, rice for you know experimentation and that's how we uh, started uh, doing native farming and you can see those uh, community farming we started doing with our bachat gut where we started planting those uh, rice samples in the farm and then this is the kind of a rice we uh, started harvesting and i think this is a very beautiful process because you know the villagers they they when they started seeing this old rice native rice uh, with the different color different uh, shape means we have a rice which is a round shape we have a rice which is uh, which has a blue color red color black color we have a rice which is almost like half inch long and it was like really mesmerizing for all of us to even look at that particular thing and then we decided how we we how to conserve those rice and uh, this is where we, uh, hello am i audible am i there yes sir yes sir you are there okay okay i thought i lost the connectivity okay and uh, then we started conserving uh, conserving this uh, native rice with the native processes like uh, whatever the regional process and this is the way we started and after that we realized we need a bank okay we know there is a bank for uh, money but we also need a bank for seeds and uh, this is my old house uh, right now i am in a new house uh, which is again built of mud so we decided to convert that particular house as a village resource center and what we did we started calling architecture student uh, so they can understand the mud construction and we started building our uh, native seed bank uh, with using the similar materials and you can see like kids are started enjoying this making uh, you know mud mud walls and everything and that is how we started making our seed bank and after that we community also as a community realized that, okay this is a very good thing uh, the farming with the native rice which is again good thing and uh, we started building a compound wall for uh, uh, all the lands in the because uh, the cattle grazing is a big issue in our village okay you can see, uh, see the cattle is roaming around and they used to go and sometimes destroy our crop so we as a community came together and we decided to make a entire compound wall to the all farmlands together so you know again it's a kind of a community farming which we can do where we are pulling all uh, all the lands together and we are working on it but that time we realized ki even though we are doing any kind of a community farming we require some funding okay and we are not a organization uh, we are not ngo we are a profit making firm okay design jatra is a profit making firm it's a architectural firm and we also not um, believe in taking money from maybe csr funding or something like that because sometime we saw that whenever any kind of a free money comes to the village villagers never take it seriously so we wanted villagers to earn that money whatever they are putting in the making these compound walls and uh, that time we realized uh, the way they are doing barley paintings they are also very skillful with the bamboo weaving and that time me shardul and vinita started thinking what we can do with their bamboo skills uh, and that time uh, you know this is uh, this is uh, uh, the device they use for catching the fish and which is again made up of the bamboo sticks and then we realized ki okay i am an architect i know i have like hundreds of pens and those are again expensive stationery which i have uh, i need something to keep my uh, stationery uh, you know very well and then we came up with the idea of making this kind of a stationery for architects so this is the kind of a stationery we made with the villagers and this is like really it's good looking stationery again our pens are uh, very well organized and when we put this particular photo on a facebook we started getting lots of order and uh, we got like 50 pouches order and imagine like my village uh, where the monthly income of one family is 2500 rupees monthly family income 
okay and this one pouch we were selling for 500 rupees and imagine we got the order of 50 pouches and the villagers were like okay wow this is a really nice source which a source of income which we have and we sold those 50 pouches immediately after one month we got a order of 400 pouches which is a 2 lakh rupees which is coming into the village and entire village go you know go insane they were like okay this is like really good money which we are getting and in the evening when we were like roaming around the village all the people were sitting in their veranda shaving these bamboo sticks and you know making these pouches and it was a really nice sight and the people the youngster who was who are who are migrating to the cities for labor work they also came back they started working on these particular pouches okay because they are getting money in their in their village and that is where we actually uh, you know uh, got the money for our farming as well and now it become a one of our initiative where uh, we run this particular initiative as a toker bamboo eco art and we are now making various products under this particular uh, uh, you know branch now this is the last part when when the youth comes together what happens okay uh, so because of all this initiative the village started uh, trusting us and again we realized that there is a lot of problem which is happening on the governance side for example it's our tribal village there are so many schemes which are coming to the uh, from the government and those uh, schemes are really nice for example the pesa act or forest right act or rozgar hami yojana they are really good yojanas and they are not implemented well okay because the few people are taking advantage of it or maybe they are doing some sort of a corruption in it and that time we came up with the idea ki okay now again we have to achieve the sustainability in terms of governance as well because no matter how much we work on this particular ground you cannot make a difference if you are not acting on a governance level and that's where we started conducting lot of gram sabhas uh, in our village where we started explaining uh, the tribal uh, laws to the tribal youth uh because you know uh, uh, those laws are like really simple but you have to put it in a very simplified manner to them and this is the kind of a gram sabha response we are getting uh and somehow we actually expose almost 45 lakh rupees corruption uh by using rti by using uh, e gram swaraj app uh, applications and everything and right now uh, there is a lot of uh, uh, you know the, the kind of a drive where all the villagers we are coming together we are brainstorming and entire process is done legally okay there is not a single political party is involved villagers coming together villagers saying ki, okay we wanted to this particular work otherwise the flow was different villagers were ignorant your gram sevak used to come and tell ki okay we have to do this, this particular work and villagers says okay but villager never understood that the gram sabha has a power where they decide what they wanted to do and they used to tell and somehow we become the uh, uh, voice and people started telling what exactly they wanted to do and uh, this is how we started working and also we hold a protest Uh, in front of uh, gram panchayat murbad and we are still this particular thing is going on uh, we are getting good re good result out of it uh, there are lot of uh, uh, now uh, government people coming to our village to understand our problem and uh, yeah so uh, this is something which is our entire process and that's why design jatra is not only a architectural form but it is a collaborative so this is what i wanted to tell thank you